Um, like every other game. I know that the media would like it to be something special and that's great. Um, but for me, it's another game um, with the Brisbane Roar against the Western United playing away and, and uh, trying to better what we did last week and um, and play a good brand of football and, and get the win. Is there any sense of um, uh, feeling for your brother, like your heart kind of rises a little bit about where they are? Um, well, my brother's my best friend, so obviously, yeah, you know, I don't. You know, it's uncomfortable when I see him not doing as well as what he he should be doing. Um, but in saying that, it's. Um, it, again, it's another game, and, and you know I, I see past that. Um, you know, I, I spoke to him early earlier in the week, and not about football, just to see how he was going, and like we normally do. So um, I just saw him briefly as well <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's looks it's an unpleasant situation for him at the moment, but he'll get through it. Do you guys, um, like since you've taken over here, have you been chatting more about? Coaching or how it was no, probably less, probably less because we uh, are so busy. Um, but we used to speak a lot more, you know, at least um, I'd say once a day, you know, and then and then as preseason goes on, it becomes twice a week, and then you know once a week, and every now and then it might be once every two weeks, depending on on how each other's going. So you say it's just another game, but that's pretty special, isn't it, that you get to do this against? I don't know. I don't know if I feel that way. I really don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'll prepare as uh, as another game. Um, so I don't know how I feel, to be honest. It just feels like another game to me with my brother on the other side. Do you think there might be a few words between the uh, two players? No. You don't want to agree on something? <laughs> no. We don't argue. He just tells me off. <laughs> Would you have any extra family members there? No, no, no. Actually, no one's coming. No. It's an important game, isn't it? Just to keep the roll on. Like they're obviously battling themselves, but just for you guys, just to keep that win. Yeah, absolutely, and and that's that's the reason why I say it's it's another game. Um, as far as I'm concerned, and you know, we prepared the same way. It's a shorter turnaround for us because we played Sunday. Um, so we had to get things done really quickly and make sure that we analysed what what their strengths are because the bottom line is uh, Western United uh, create a lot of goal scoring opportunities in games and and that is um, a danger for us. And we've got to make sure that we're defensively, we're very good um, and making sure that we uh, play the football that we can play and, and hurt them on the other side. So, you know, we always want to, uh, Win games, but again, um, it's all about the process. Um, and I said this at the start, and also until the end, it's about the process. And hopefully, if we work through that process, um, the, the results will take care of itself. When you say the process, I just mean to enjoy it. Just ask him what the, the key was to you. You know, you're successful right at the moment, and you were saying it's all you know, it's just training every day. You've got really high standards. Does it come down to those one percent? Absolutely, yeah, and we, we focus a lot on, on passing. Um, we focus a lot on uh, our movements. We, we try and cover everything, um, being very aggressive in not just out of possession, but in possession, which means that we want to play as many balls forward as we can. And I think the stats, I mean, someone would have to quote me uh, or, or give me the, the, the actual stat, but for the last time I looked, at, we're probably top in the league with forward passes. Um, so these are the little things, and yes, high standards, high standards. The, the players, the professionalism is incredible, um, and that's something that we drove from from day one. And we work extremely hard. Sometimes not as long as uh, as um, other days, but um, it's it's all about the process. It's all about you know. And I say to a player, when you take a penalty, penalty. Um, you don't think if you, I'm going to score, or I'm going to miss, or where I'm going to celebrate. You think about how you're going to run up to the ball, where you're going to plant your foot, how you're going to strike the ball, and that's the process. And then, obviously, the outcome takes care of itself. And that's that's something that I, I really drive within this group because if you focus on the outcome, you forget about what what you're supposed to be doing, and that's not the way I would like to play. So, um, it seems like the team's the real deal, even though. 
Oh yeah, um, <clears throat> the the players we worked on it during the week, um, and it was something that we added to our training session. So we it's something that we evolved as well because we we thought how could we stop him because they are very dangerous. Let's make no mistake about that. The thing that impresses me the most and made me the most proud is that the players that we had on the pitch we had two early injuries uh, in the game, um, and I can't remember the last time Adelaide United haven't scored a goal at at home and they are the, the leading goal scorers in the league as well so for us to go there and, and score two and, and should have had another two um, and to keep them scoreless was was uh, really uh, pleasing to me uh, but we've got to keep going and uh, and I, I mentioned to the playing group you know when when you start to to hit your stride you need to keep going and you can't take your foot off the pedal, and, and we haven't this week. And hopefully, we get a uh, a good performance again tomorrow night. Ross, how are the boys are uh, uh, Scott and uh, uh, you're all right, mate. Oh, they're disappointed. <laughs> what's their problem? What's their, uh... Uh, Berkey, we still we're thinking maybe two to three weeks. They're still not sure, uh, and Scotty Neville should be back within three. Um, a lot, a lot, because he's worked extremely hard. Um, he probably was a little bit early to start him off, but he, um, because he missed so much of pre-season, and it wasn't his fault, it was just the way things worked out with his injury. Um, but he, he played extremely well. He set up um, an, an amazing goal-scoring opportunity, scored one. And played really well, and and we could see that he was starting to fatigue, so we had to take it out, take him out. But it, when you play a good game away from home, um, it always helps with confidence.